Hello everybody out there in the wine world. This is Bill Elsie, the sommelier with wines.com. And today we are in the kitchen of the Driscoll Grill in Austin, Texas uh, with a good friend of mine, fellow sommelier, Scott Oda. Today we are going to discuss with him his philosophy on food and wine pairing. And then we're gonna talk about why Scott has chosen um, certain wines to go with the certain dishes and kind of talk about his philosophy. So Scott, let's uh, go ahead and see what Chef's working up for us right now. Hi, I'm Skylar Golden, Chef de Cuisine of the Driscoll Grill. First off, I'm going to be starting uh, doing a little ahi pokey for you guys. I've got some uh, number one Hawaiian tuna here. Take a little bit of the yuzu soy ginger. Just kind of dressing this up a little bit. And to accompany that, we're going to do a little uh, daikon sea bean salad to go on top and a little uh, beet caramel. And that's Hawaiian pokey with sea bean and daikon salad. There is a ginger yuzu uh, lemonade here on the side, which is gonna kick back a lot of acid. I don't want the wine to lose out. I wanted to choose a Pinot Noir dominant style of wine just because uh, the ginger, the yuzu, the soy, all those things I think mirror the, the, the flavor textures of Pinot Noir. Uh, but at the same time, I need that high driving acid to match the lemonade as well as the cut to the natural oils of the fish. Uh, so for this one, we've chosen uh, a grower producer champagne, surprise. Uh, Marc Cabrera's uh, Premier Cru, Malio Soai. This is gonna be predominantly Pinot Noir. Uh, I think it'll balance out nicely. In addition, the yeastiness of the wine to go alongside the, uh, the Marcona almonds that are gonna place on top. It has a slight underlying fresh mineral character to it, which I think will play nicely off the daikon. Uh, once again, matching that acid texture to go with the lemon vinaigrette. The rosé champagne, having a little bit more um, mouth-filling type of character, but still having that bright acid and some of those red cherry fruits is excellent with the, you know, you've got the, the fish element to it, which is giving a little bit of savory character. You get the crunch um, from you know the vegetable element to it as well. And then you have the, the fruity berry sauce that is just like the great way just to kind of wrap up the bite, carrying through all that on the palate. That is excellent. If you have any questions or want to give us your philosophy on how food and wine pairing work for you, reach out to us. You can reach Scott Oda at Scott Oda on Twitter. You can also uh, follow the Driscoll Hotel at Driscoll Hotel on Twitter as well. I'm at Bill Elsie. You can always reach out to us at Wines.com on Twitter. We want to hear your thoughts. Thank you, Scott. Cheers. Thank you.